Okay, so we got a great DIY project. To our garage door is making some popping and skipping noises. And it's also not closing completely. It's that the gears are worn out in our garage door opener box. So we're gonna work on changing those gears out. We picked up some extra gears at our local garage door shop and um, we're gonna take the cover off. There's probably some screws up there and pop out the worn gear that we'll probably find, put in the new one, and then we should be good to go. So you can see we have the gearing mechanism inside. Oh, sometimes you find a little surprise, expected house guest. So you take a look at the main gearing here, and you can see it's a little bit worn. We're not quite getting too much popping, but it's starting to go. So we're going to replace that and hopefully have a better garage door opening and closing experience. Stay tuned. First we have to pop off this little ring fastener here. Should slide right out. Now we can take the first small gear should slide right off. Take off the limiter here next. We we'll also want to pop off the wiring off the logic board. Final screw here on this limiter unit and then we can get at that larger gear and pop it out. We have our main plastic gear exposed. You can see some plastic shavings in there where the gear is starting to wear out a little bit. I'm gonna check out this worm drive gear as well just to make sure that that one looks intact. We get a spare one, we can pop a new one in there if we need to. That's gonna be a little trickier to replace. It's gonna the tread on the motor shaft. Um, see in here this limiter unit as well has some of the shavings I just popped off that clip and now we just have to lodge this gear it should drop right down Good morning please make sure your garage door opener is unplugged before attempting this it slides off you can see the gear is a little worn it's not terrible starting to show its age it's about 14 years old so our worm drive gear looks pretty solid we're going to leave that in place um, you want to make sure the orientation on your gear is correct so it slides right into the gearing on the other uh, worm gear there and when we put this back on it should slide right into the teeth on that drive now we have to put our little clip on there next gear back on and we got the o-ring little clamp back on it's, it's in a ridge up there we tried one attempt with these very fine needle nose pliers did not work out so well we actually had to resort to our actual pair of o-ring clamps the limiting assembly back on we're going to add a little synthetic grease to the wheel to keep everything going really smooth we just squirt this in here got the limiting assembly back on. Don't forget you want to plug your limiting assembly back in so it gets power. Reattach the emergency release. So we're gonna give this a whirl and see how we made out. Stay tuned. More to come.